So Meyer White Order sequence corresponds to a diagram like this. So say you have A intersection B, it obviously injects into space A and injects into space B. And then A and B, you can take the union to form a space X. So corresponding to this, you have a long exact sequence like this. You have HN of A intersection B, HN of A direct sum with HN of B. So you're taking direct sum here. And then you have HN of X. And then you go down one index down. So you have A intersection B here, you have A intersection B here. So this A intersection B is carried over here. This X is carried over here. And in the center you have the direct sum. So notice the indexes are just decreasing here. You have HN A direct sum with HN B hn minus 1 a direct sum with hn minus 1 b and so on here you have hn x hn minus 1 x so on and similarly here so this should remind you of van kampen theorem now there is an important technique which we need to recall so say we are given a long exact sequence so just like this so instead of now writing homology groups we are just going to write some modules so if we we write as i say m3 m4 m5 and so on let's say there is a map phi here and psi here so say we want to break here so if you want to break this long exact sequence here we can do it in two ways so first way is that you write it like this m3 to image of phi and then you put zero and then you take co kernel of phi which is nothing but m4 over image of phi and then you go on to m5 and so on so this is one way second way of breaking it is to notice that kernel of psi is equal to image of phi so kernel of psi this is precisely equal to image of phi for a long exact sequence and that's what we are going to use so you start with the first sequence again you break it as image of phi but now you use kernel of psi. So now you have kernel of psi. This goes into M4, goes into M5, and you keep going. Again, your psi is right here. And uh, now you can glue them back to obtain this. Similarly, you can glue this back to obtain this. So we are going to use both of these uh, sequences to compute our example and in our example what we are going to do is we are going to take A as a torus and B as a Mobius so notice that um, in this Meyer white torus both A and B are open but the example we will take torus and Mobius they seem to be closed so what we are going to do is we are going to take a small extended neighborhood of torus small extended neighborhood of Mobius in our X so that both of them uh, seem to be open so notice this map you are multiplying an integer a here with this vector and you're landing here so the question is that if you uh, so this is the image of the map so if you take this and you modulo out with the image what do you get so this numerator we are copying as such and the denominator is this a times 102 so instead of a we are writing all integers because a could be an integer now this denominator is isomorphic to integers so you can just construct isomorphism because we are just multiplying with a vector so you uh, you take any integer n here and you can construct an isomorphism like this because this vector we preserve this integer it is just an injective map and now a common source of confusion at least it was for me was that uh, do we write it as a comma 2a so can we write it this map as z direct sum 0 and then direct sum 2z now this would be incorrect because you always have a and 2a here so you have in, uh, even numbers here but this even number is related to this number so for example z direct sum with 2z this will contain an element 5 comma 6 but we cannot have 5 comma 6 here because if you have 6 here you have to have 3 here you cannot have 5 so if you put integers here this is not going to convert to this this is just going to remain as integer so you modulo this out so this integers goes cancels with one integer you just get this 
so this uh, we are going to use uh, in our computation so let us now compute the example of attaching a mobius band to a torus so say our space a is a torus and space b is a mobius band then we can construct a space x which is a union b so this is done by attaching the boundary of the mobius band to one of the generators of the torus so a intersection b is just our circle s1 so which is used to attach uh, boundary of the mobius band to the torus so let us first draw the mobius so this is our mobius so you can see you go around like this once and then you go around like this the second time so it has to be a degree 2 map so notice that how this green portion twists and comes up and this red portion this twists it is starting from the top and twists and come down so it has to be a degree 2 map also notice that this is uh, homotopic to a circle this is the circle in the center so this is homotopic to a circle so it has the homology groups of a circle so this is our uh, long exact sequence like this so obviously for h3 and higher there are no groups either for the torus or the circle so you have h2a direct sum with h2b h2x then h1a intersection b and we have all these tildes here because we want to compute reduced homology groups we are not worried about dimension zero so we are computing reduced homology groups and so this is our long exact sequence we have done nothing much uh, so we are not going to zero part we are just staying here so first thing is we split it at this map phi so this phi is precisely the map which attaches a intersection b which is our circle s1 to our uh, a is our torus and this b is our mobius so we will split it right here so you can write it as image of phi here and then you have the corresponding co kernel so you have h1 till d a direct sum with h1 till d b here over image of phi and then you have h1 till dx zero so we have just splitting here so now we start writing the homology groups which we know so we know for this is mobius b is our mobius band so b is our band so this in h2 of s1 is zero so this is zero but h2 of a torus is integers so this you have integers right here and this is zero so zero direct sum with integers you just get integers this we copy as such and say this map is alpha right here so you have alpha here so what is this map phi so this map phi what it takes is we are saying that uh, this map phi basically takes the circle uh, circle and uh, you know takes a circle and attaches it to the boundary of the mobius band uh, because it's in the intersection and this just carries over itself directly into the uh, torus so attaching the boundary of the mobius band to one of the generators of the torus so this is corresponding to this s1 right here we have these integers and we have one zero so corresponding to say this generator this circle is attached directly so degree one map here we have to go twice around to attach to the mobius so mobius is here so we have to go twice around so you have degree 2 map for integers right here and we do not do anything about the second generator so you just keep this 0 here for the second generator and we are copying this here so notice that h1 of torus is z direct sum with z the, that we have copied so we break this map here so first consider this map right here so we have copied this entire thing right here so h1 till dx comes here h1 of a this is nothing but torus so it is z direct sum with z so z direct sum with z and h1 of b which is a mobius band this h1 of b is h1 of s1 which is just integers so we said it is 1 0 so a here gets mapped to a 0 here and 2 a here so that's why you have z direct sum with 0 and then direct sum with 2 z so now you have a short exact sequence like this there is an isomorphism here therefore so 
h1 till d of x is this will cancel out this v will z will come here so h1 we have been able to compute now we want to compute h2 so first notice that this map is alpha this is a long exact sequence so kernel of phi is equal to image of alpha so this is a long exact sequence so we immediately have that kernel of phi is equal to image of alpha the so kernel of phi is equal to image of alpha as you can see so now we break here this is our map phi so you put image of phi here and say there is some map beta here now because you have broken here we just rename this rename this map here as beta so we have broken here we rename this as beta and you put this here as alpha so that is it so again now we break right here so if you break here using our second technique you have image of alpha going to 0 and here you have kernel of beta going to z beta image of phi 0 but we are saying that image of alpha is precisely equal to kernel of phi so this is kernel of phi but as you can see this map is injective um, it is just injecting into the generator of the torus and then you are multiplying it to for the mobius so you are injecting into the torus and again you are multiplying by 2 so multiplication by 2 is also an injective map so this is an injective map so kernel of phi is 0 now kernel of phi is equal to image of alpha so this is 0 so therefore you have an isomorphism here so you have h2 till d of x is nothing but integers